Hello all, in this video we will code assemble TCP server on the Kali machine and assemble TCP client on the target machine. Then we will see how to execute some command remotely from the Kali machine. So let's start with the server side here. Building a TCP server in Python is quite simple. As you can see, the script starts with importing socket library which is responsible on coding a low-level network interface. The AF, uh, the AF underscore INET defines the socket address as a pair of host, comma, port. And in this case, it's going to be 10.10.10.100 and the port is 8080. The soc underscore uh, stream is the default mode for the socket type. Now the bind function specify the Kali IP address and the listening port in a tuple format which is 10.10.10.100 and we should be listening on port 8080 um, for receiving a connection. Since we are expecting only a single connection from a single target then we should listen for a single connection. So the backlog size which specify the, max, the maximum number of acute connection is 1 and we define um, the listening um, value to be 1. So we should be listening only to a single connection. Now the accept function returns a value of a pair of connection object as well as the address. The address here is the, I, is the target IP address and the source port used for, um, from the target to initiate the connection back to us. Next, we will go into infinite loop and get our uh, command input and send it to the target machine using the raw input. So the raw input is used to, um, to get the user input. Notice if the user input was terminate, we will inform our target that we want to close the session and then we will close the session from our side. Otherwise, we will send the command to the target and we will read and print the first kilobyte of the received data from the target side. Now let's jump to the client side. We import the sub process to start the shell and the system. Next, the connection part is quite simple. We use uh, we define as an um, socket object, and we specify the IP address of the Kali machine and the port that we should be um, initiate the connection on. Notice that the port that we are listening on the Kali machine should exactly match the same port that we um, should initiate the connection from the target machine. And similar to the server side, we will go into infinite loop and get the attacker command. So if, uh, so if the terminate or if terminate keyword or string was in the command, we will close the connection and break the infinite loop. Else, we will use sub process to start a shell in the system. So we will just pass the command that we have received from the attacker machine to the sub process and get the result or the error. Notice that sub process has some kind of self mechanism for exception handling. For instance, let's say that uh, we have mistyped a certain command on the Kali side and send the wrong syntax uh, to the target. So instead of crashing um, the process here, the STD ERR handle the exception and returns the error. Okay, let's quickly try our script here. Now I will start with the server side. Okay, just to verify that we have opened a listener on port 8080. Let me run netstat ant grip port 8080. And fair enough, as you can see, Python 2.7 has um, opened that one and we are listening. So let me run the target script here. And fair enough, we got our shell from an IP address of 10.10.10.1, which is the IP address of our Windows machine and source port of 49350. Let's explore the target machine a little bit. And I will start with IP config and directory. And let's go for ARP hyphen A. Okay, so we got the ARP table on the target machine. Let me try to mistype um, a command and fair enough, instead of crashing the script, the sub process 
a std error returns the error of a wrong syntax okay to quickly recap so what we have done here so far okay so we have built a reverse tcp tunnel and we uh, got the user input using the row input so when we type rp a the row, the row input will get that command and then we will send it to the target machine and once we have received it on the target side we will initiate cmd as a sub process and send the error or the result back and print it out on the target uh, on the attacker side last thing you may notice that the shell will crash if you hit enter a couple of times now at this point just don't worry about it uh, as there is a lot of things are coming up and you will address this issue later on thanks for watching